Hi, my name is Mike, and in the video we will show how to convert a text string to a number. It is very simple and the .NET framework includes features to help us with the conversion. Let's do it. In Visual Studio, we'll create a new console application. First, we'll add code that gets a text string with a value from the user. Using the toInt32 function, we can convert a variable of type string to integer. The convert class provides various methods that allow conversion between types. The second way to convert a string is by using the parse method, which is available directly by the int type. Similarly, we can convert a string to a number of type decimal. Again, we can use either the convert class and the toDecimal method, or directly the decimal type and the parse method. In the same way, we can also get a variable of type double. Finally, let's show the converted values in our application. We will run and test the application. We provide the text 15 as input and the application successfully converts it to numbers. The problem occurs if the user enters a string which is not a number. For example, letters. In this case, the application crashes and exits with an error. We can solve this situation by modifying our code.
For the conversion, we use the tri-parse method, which returns information about whether the conversion was successful. We use the if clause to ensure that if the conversion is not successful, we display an error message. In the same way, we ensure the conversion to decimal and double types. We modify the message that is printed to the user. We can test the modified application. We enter a text string that contains letters. Our application did not crash this time and displayed our custom error message. If we enter a number, the conversion is successful. Finally, we'll show how to ask the user to re-enter the value if they entered an incorrect string and the conversion failed. This will use a while loop that will repeat until the user enters a valid value. In order to output the converted value in our application, we need to define the variable before the while loop. We will declare the variable converted number and use it in the triparse method. We will run our application. If you enter a text string, you will be notified and asked to re-enter the correct value. If a number is entered, then the conversion is successful. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, 
please click the subscribe button.